now in the Indian police service. So I was under training, and I then realized I was going to be the first woman in the Indian police service. And I was called by the home ministry and said, are you sure you want, to, want the same service? And then the home minister was a tennis friend. And he got up and said, I know you are a small Pathan because I, I have Peshawarya roots. They come from Peshawar. Short, but short Pathan. And they said, you're a Pathan. You, once you make up your mind, you wouldn't give up. But I know you're a tennis player. I welcome you to the family of the Indian Police Service. I'm glad we have a woman for the first time in the officer ranks of the Indian Police Service. That's how I made it to the service. And then led the most hunt ever, ever in history, always a male parade. That's the first time in India, 1975, a woman led a fully male parade. And that was the year of the moment. It made absolute national news. And the next day, I was invited by Mrs. Gandhi for breakfast. That made great, great news. That cop being invited for a national uh, prayer uh, meeting, a meeting breakfast with Mrs. Gandhi, because she was so thrilled. I remember when I was marching and I said, I saluted her. She got up and she jumped and she said, that's it. She felt so brilliant. She felt so as if she was parading herself. So friends, this is how it, this too was a grab. I wasn't getting this to lead the parade because this meant every day practicing for 20 kilometers every day to finally walk the parade 14 kilometers on that time. It is a non-stop parade which starts and ends with 14 kilometers march and with the sword in your hand. I was practicing every day at least 20 kilometers to finally do it non-stop without a break for uh, 14 kilometers. I wasn't getting it. A man was getting it who was junior to me. And I was a beginner as a probationer, went up to my inspector general and said, sir, I hear that somebody else is getting this uh, position to lead the parade. He said, yes. I said, sir, but why? And you know how policing is so hierarchical. You can't just go up and ask. And I was the junior most in the whole service. I just started my service. He said, yes, somebody else is. But I said, sir, can I know why? He said, because you mean to say you will be able to do all that? I said, sir, do you mean to say, after all what I've done already, I keep answering this? He said, if you can do that, I welcome you. I said, sure, I will. And that is, you know what? I could have opted out of it. I could have opted out of it. I need not have struggled all this. But my background of tennis and my background of what my father had said, the upbringing came back here to challenge the status quo and said, I'm ready. This is my right. I have to get it. And that is how I got this right to lead the male parade. And this was a turning point in Indian history. 